Good day to everyone. Today I would like to share how to create e-report card for online classes to send parents mobile. Yes, in this pandemic situation everything will be in online. The exams, the classes, all the things will be in the online. Using the online we are taking the test. We need to send the information how the students grades, habits and all the details, intelligence, everything to their students so that their students can know about the students performance of the year. So in this video I would like to share how to create e-report card for online classes to send parents mobile. Using simple excel we can create the e-report card and we can make us a pdf and we can send. Let's see how to do that. Before that kindly subscribe Howex channel and click the bell icon so that you can get the useful videos and the notification. So in your laptop you need to install Microsoft Office that is Excel. So Microsoft Office has Word, PowerPoint, Excel, everything. So I am using Excel. Using the Excel I can create a e-report card for my students. So every teacher should know about Excel, Word and PowerPoint. This is a basic thing. So this is an Excel platform. Using Excel platform we can create an e mark sheet yes just to click the blank workbook automatically the blank workbook will open here so this is a format of excel so now i would like to create my institution name so my institution name should be on top so that i can select the top area wherever i want i can choose and i want to merge this cells just hit the button merge cells yes the merge cell will be happen over here i would like to type inside the cell yes If you want to give the font color, you can give your font color as well as you can increase the font size and font style as well. Yeah. So now the most important point, you need to create your student's mark sheet. Name of the student and date when the exam is conducted as well as the subject. So using, using these three options, you can give the inputs to the students. So I want to increase the column size so that one student has small name. Some students will have the big names so or huge names. So I can increase the column using these buttons to increase the things. Yeah. So this is enough for me. So now I would like to give my basic things, marks and all the informations. So first one maximum marks so obtain marks and the total so this is a basic thing for the progress report should have so the columns are very crunchy i want to increase the column size so whatever size is frequently set to your design you can choose according to your needs so that easy to understand yes my school name is little bit this side I just select this area and match this area so this area will be my mark sheet so that I can select and I can match all the things throughout this cell yeah so I have given the option so my school name as well as maximum and minimum mark and total I have given here so now I would like to type a subject name so subject should be something else these are the subject I have given one two three four five six seven so totally seven subject is there here the last column will be total so how many subjects you want you can choose according to your needs yeah so now it's the name and maximum mark and minimum mark and obtain mark is given here as well as the subject is given here yeah so I just select this area and the columns will be like a border so I would like to insert the border select the area wherever you want border just select and click all borders the border will be added over here yes so i want name and this one should be border should be there so i can select and 
give all borders so wherever you want you can give all borders the date and time you want to merge you can merge yes i can merge my date and subjects so you want to give like this left columns you can give left yeah so you want to give a border for this you can give your borders so maximum and minimum marks is given here you can use according to this i can merge this cells so that easily understand so maximum mark this column and minimum marks this column and all the details will be here on top i can give the light yellow color and here subject name will be like light green and the total will be something light orange so this is my mark statement marks history i have created so this is a digital format of marks so i can increase if i want yeah so if you want to increase your row heights just select and click row heights will be increased over here otherwise you just select this area and you can increase the row height using this option called just drag automatically your row will be increased yes so you want to increase commonly row just select all the decks just increase means automatically commonly the rows will be increased over here so as you see yeah so this is an easy way you can able to create and give your rows yeah so i can give times new roman as a font so default font for me yeah so now your term so maximum mark for my students is 100 you want to copy this same thing just select yeah so total my seven subject has 100 100 marks i want to calculate this just select keep it in the downside and select auto sum option on the top just select yes total calculator over here so again i'm doing select wherever you want the formula should be placed over that so that empty space i have given just select auto sum automatically it will be calculate easy step yeah so now the time to create pass or fail yes the condition if condition i need to create if condition this condition you need to mention means automatically for the a students has the mark obtain marks he has cleared means automatically the pass will come otherwise he got less mark the fail option will come over here this is what i should do first equal to if so this is an option bracket so i have given this formula in the description box just to select the description box and copy and paste over there in the cell automatically your formula will be activated so if i have given the condition i can select this cell because obtain mark cell is this cell i can select this cell and use greater than or equal to 40 yes comma pass otherwise fail so this is an easy formula you can choose if my mark above 40 means pass otherwise fail just to close the bracket and enter that's it there is no mark so that fail will become over here the same formula i want to copy entire cells just to select drag over here automatically entire formula will be calculated over here in the total format i would like to create a if condition yes this is a different if condition same thing just equal to if yeah if bracket select this area this total number yeah so out of 700 i can take 350 means i'll be pause or 300 means i'll be pause because i need to take around uh, each and every subject seven subject i need to take 40 40 means uh, seven four so similarly i need to get so 350 and above so if is equal to greater than or equal to 
350. Yeah, come on. Pass. As well as you need to give fail. Otherwise, I'll be fail. So give the correct proper formula. Otherwise, you are things will be error. Just close the bracket. So this is a format I have given the description box. You can select and use. So now also fail will be there. Yes. So now I can able to select this entire area and auto sum because so entire area will be select means automatically it will be added here. So now I can give. 0, 0, 0 because I didn't enter I have given the formula yes so this has a formula I can select and give auto sum 0 so this has a formula this has a formula everything is fail so now this is an easy step to add the student name yeah for example Aro the date I can give the date 15th December of an exam right these are the subjects so English he got around 49 automatically pass will come here 67 87 67 so till 270 is fail is coming here so my mark should be above 350 89 this process comes here so this is an easy formula without any hesitate you can create and give your inputs so total marks out of 700 i got around 491 so this is a basic thing using this option you can create a mock statement yes so this is single student i want to multiple students to create i just copy this area overall area Control C for copy or right click copy the entire cell. Yes, and select here and paste over here. That's it. Increase your column size. The formula will be the same. You need to change your student's name. Yes, instead of Arun, you can have Ajay. Now, the time how to take a PDF that is output to send to the parents yes in your excel sheet just click view option you will find a normal page break preview select page break preview yes it will show you the blue color lines so page one this is a page one this is a page two page two has little bit of confusion I just select yeah so this is page one and this is page two and page three if you want to add more pages you can add more pages using this options yeah so how to add i just select normal i can copy this cell i can paste it over here now i can go to page break preview and i can select this area yeah so that I can able to select only particular area page one page two page three if I want to increase the size of this page four will become over here so that I can able to get an idea to create an option using using this option you can able to divide and identify wherever pages you want so I have divided three pages so this pages is not correct so I want to copy this page or cut this page and I can paste over here yeah I can increase the size sorry so I can increase the page size page 4 will be comes here now I would like to take particular page as a PDF to send to the parents just select file and save as browse and select Excel workbook as a PDF format you will have a PDF portable document file just select the PDF and minimum size that is minimum size you can select and click option yes so if you want to give all pages all pages will be comes as a single page you want a single page just select page number one one 
yes just click ok and save so book is already here so I don't want our room just save yeah so Arun Mark statement is here my school name and things is, will be there I forgot to add the signature of the teacher I can add the signature here as well so teacher signature you can give the digital signature as well as so how to insert the digital signature if you have your signature just click insert and picture you can have any other signature point you can give your signature you can choose according to your need for example this is my signature means i can insert the signature and i can keep it over here yes now i can go to print preview to show you to preview this option yeah so my signature is not there i want to give my signature enter inside the page break break preview i just select yeah so here I can save us, save us, browse and select PDF format R1. So my minimum size option pages. Click OK, save. Yes. So just to refresh this, I'm not able to get my signature of oh, the page number two as signature sorry i just select page number one just go to save us browse pdf and arun sig yeah so minimum pages okay yes is the teacher signatures yes easy 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 to share your marks to your parents what is your students or their words enforce information about the subject everything you can give so you can give the teacher remarks all the things easily with the digital format so this is a easy step to create individual marks to all the students in a single book so you can choose according to the name Arun Ajay all the details all the students details will be in the one page you want to come with a normal model just click normal automatically normal will become chair you can zoom in and check mark statements so easy to understand all the details thanks for watching if you have any comments in the comment box give the comments don't forget like the button and share with your friends subscribe my channel Thanks for watching. Have a great and good day.